Hey guys, this is Joe TM back with another video. So I'm really excited because I got the Cricket 22 and this is the first time I'm actually launching the game. So let's just see how it is. I can see that they made the game a menu a little bit like a FIFA stylish. So it's, it's looking very nice actually, you know, starting and launching the game. So I'm happy about that. Let's just go ahead and launch the game and see how it plays. I'm really happy that they're making little improvements in this game and um, they're making the game better day by day or year by year. So it's really good. Cricket 22 there. The loading screens are still there. It always takes a little bit longer to load. So I guess people have to live with that. Maybe it's because it's uh, launching for the first time. That's why. All right, there we go. Welcome to Cricket 22, the new generation of cricket. Whether you've played Big Ant Studios cricket games in the past or are new to us with this game, we highly recommend you watch this tutorial through to get yourself up to speed on all things cricket. When batting, you'll see a screen like this. In the top right, the field radar shows the location of the various fielders. Using the left stick, you aim your shot which will be indicated by the aiming wedge. You can try aiming anywhere, but it's a good idea to try to hit the ball away from the fielders and be aware that the kind of shots you can hit effectively will also depend on where the ball's being bowled. This marker shows where the ball's going to bounce. Based on this indicator, let's try and hit this one through the gap in the fielders highlighted. Aim your shot into the highlighted area with the left stick then use the attacking shot button to hit the ball. To time the shot correctly, press the button as the ball gets close to the batter. OK, let's go. Press the settings. They're basically the same kind of settings that you used to have in the previous games. Uh, so instead of the invert controls, this time they have introduced a, a bowler relative or batsman relative. So if you're going, going to go for the broadcast mode, which is what I'm going to do, only then change these settings. Otherwise, don't do that. So this is the camera where if you want to play as a broadcast mode, you can convert all these settings to broadcast mode. What's going to happen is that it's going to show you the game just like you're watching it in the TV, which is actually a little bit easier for me as well to watch and play. So that's that's how I play the game. Just want to make sure if uh, all the settings are there. Yeah, apart from that, we don't really need to change anything else so far. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah, the controls are going to be uh, for the pro, uh, these are going to be the old controls starting from the Cricket 14 style um, where you actually use uh, two control sticks to make the shots instead of uh, you know the arcade style gaming where you simply select the direction and uh, press X to make a shot. This is slightly difficult to time and control but this is the actual way the game was supposed to be played and it's really fun once you get the shots right so that's that's really why I use it. So it, it is slightly, you know, difficult to time the ball with this, just like this. Uh, nice. I could not really Great do start. it properly. Nice. Great start. The graphics are slightly better than the previous ones. All right. Which Let's is a very good thing. I like further. it. 
will try to hit a boundary using the aggressive shot button. Aim in the same area as I'm really game. happy Let's to go. see the game and the updated version of it. I, I guess uh, whenever they put up new game, I'll just get it anyway. Not bad. You just need to press at the right time. So there's a timing shot. meter as well, which is so a very helpful thing. Again. It lets you know how you can actually play the shots properly next time. I guess we timed it well, so. Awesome work. Alright, so I'm skipping the tutorial now. Let's uh, see the menu, and the menu is really beautiful right now. It looks really nice. I'm uh, just checking the kind of matches we can go through. And then after that, we will start a slight batting session as well. Because I want to do the batting first and see how it feels compared to the last ones. This is a career. Definitely, definitely would be playing the career. That's the main thing that I go for in these cricket games. So there's a competition. Then there's the Ashes series. We'll have to do that as well. So let's create a new match for now. Um, Australia and England. I guess that's uh, going to be the main thing because they always profess these two teams making the games and everything. I would say the load times are slightly better, but they're almost the same as well, um, like the previous games. It does take a lot of time. Good morning and welcome to our coverage from the Sydney Cricket Ground. You join us for this test match between Australia and England. I'm Mike Atherton and with me for this exciting contest is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the dashing David Gower. Thanks others, it's great to be here and I'm sure we're in for a fantastic match. I had an opportunity earlier to get down and check out the conditions for the day. And the pitch so actually the beautiful. setting does look really nice, really well uh, the crowd and everything. It's a, marginal call uh, way, it's a little bit more vibrant, showing up right now. Let's uh, go not into the match and then see Brilliant work how it's going to show David up more. Gower. Let's join them in the middle to find out who will be fielding first. Here's a toss. Australia will know there's something in it for the bowlers early, but batting first seems to be something captains are always inclined to do to get runs on the board. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first day of this test match. Please welcome the players and umpires as they take to the field. It's almost like the previous one, but it's slightly better with graphics. But the opening cinematic is just like the previous one. Anderson has the privilege of bowling with the new ball. This uh, just uh, confirming the settings again. I don't really care about the fielding settings at the moment. Just want to check the batting settings because I need the broadcast mode. Yeah, so um, the settings that I did in training did not actually, in the tutorial, did not actually translate to the game. So I have to do the settings again.
All right, these are controls. Controls are all together uh, familiar to me. It doesn't matter. But you have the batting controls, pro, pro, pro. Yeah. So if you're not really used to the pro mode, which is the classic mode, you can go with the arcade style batting, which is going to be the, just selecting the direction and playing the shot with the X button or other buttons. But I don't really play like that. So right, that was the first the ever field. ball for Cricket 22. Didn't like it. <laughs> Oh, I played Fantastic the shot catch. right into Fila. And we are actually <laughs> gonna lose that wicket. All this happens once you do the first match, you uh, tend to play some shots that are not supposed to be there. I'm just trying to play all the shots right now, see the first how it goes. Is down, back to the pavilion, and disappointment is etched on their face. Can't believe they got out like that. So really, we really have a very low run rate at the moment, 75, 0.75 that is. Yep, so this should bump up the shot. run rate. This is how the running screen also shows up. Sometimes it's not as effective as the previous one, Wonderful front foot shot and there was but uh, I guess no that's it. That. Maybe we have an option to change that, I'll check that out later. Oh, that was going to be another that's catch. A figure run. They dropped it. One run here for them. Good this time the ball a little it bit. Needed to be as well. Probably closer than Would have been expected. a perfect opportunity for them to get another wicket. Catch. Easy to pick up early. the leg no shots. Here we go. We, we've got a four. Pushed onto the front foot and presented the full face of the bat. That's the over. Australia are one for three. That's a pull shot, Beautiful not the best. The, uh, the graphics the slightly do flicker a little Four bit, runs. and I'm playing on the PS4 so Pro, so I, I'm not sure if this happens forward, on the PS5 as well. Um, hopefully, we will find that out have some time Getting once I get it. But anyway, the uh, so on the PS4, sometimes really the graphics do uh, flicker a little bit, but not that much. The graphics do look yes. very uh, smooth. Gap on this as well. Uh, I noticed that the crowd does well, look a little bit slow at times, you know, like um, Gets onto the in the rendering, uh, but well it doesn't really matter because the game runs. is working smoothly. That's going to be another Sweetly four. Down the ground. They'll be hard pressed to stop it. Now that's a difficult shot to get right. Straight back at the bowler with a lot of pace and the covering fielder had no chance. It's a good shot, falls straight down the ground. Nothing really wrong with the delivery. Got onto the front foot and found the space to get that one to the boundary. Root, I don't think. Yep. Superbly played through the covers for four. Well, it was hammered away, timed perfectly, and placed into the gap. Easy catch. Didn't have to move really. Well, they lose the second.